Zombies 3 delivers on quite a lot of fronts with its quirky humor, jazzed up hairstyles, and mellow hints of emotion peppered around the movie. But did the song selection do a good job at bundling the movie into a fun-filled extravaganza? And can you watch Zombies 3 without bracing yourself for cringe with or without the music? Let's delve in and find out. First of all, Disney left no stone unturned in its quest to bring a third behemoth to its Zombies movie series. Zombies has always had a very upbeat vibe to it. The first and second movies were all about engaging with kids with colorful environments, subtle movements of understanding, and dealing with teen problems, and good musicals to top it all off. With decades of experience in staying at the top of its game, Disney knows how to engage its audience, especially the younglings. Throughout each movie, we saw just what an adolescent would want to see, depictions of inclusivity, searching within to discover oneself, and music that stirs the soul. It just makes sense. Or does it? While the music was certainly a welcome element to the third installment, some of the scores could have been better in particular aspects. Not all the songs were as catchy as, say, Flesh and Bone from the prequel to Zombies 3, which was a massive hit in its own right. Let's nitpick a little. Starting with Fired Up, Different and Sassy. Starting from the bottom of the list, it should be mentioned that any ranking of these songs is hard, demanding work. Each song has its own flavor, and to be honest, they all have something to get us gripped with. And without further ado, let's hop on to Entry Uno. Fired Up bursts in when the high school is having a pep rally with the high and mighty Mighty Shrimp Cheer Squad leading the crowd. Although Fired Up is more of a chant than a song, the entertaining trumpet solo and catchy rhythm make it hard to ignore. We have to acknowledge that the original Zombies performance of Fired Up had a more clearly defined structure and melody. This version can be seen as a reprise of that song. The first of many references to other films, the inclusion of Fired Up in Zombies 3 demonstrates that the authors and producers producers are proud of the original 2018 film, which is part of what has made this franchise one of the best movie trilogies published by the Disney Channel. Moving on to Utopia, a great start, but a somewhat crash and burn finish. This song quickly became as monotone as the characters in it. With flashy blues and agile bodies, the aliens were seen chiseling their cheer routine up for the upcoming competition. Utopia hits it off with tricks and jumps but fizzles out sadly sooner than we would have liked. The tune isn't a particularly memorable one. Only one syllable is repeated at regular intervals of 10 seconds, and the music's beat is hard to pick up on. In context, the aliens' performance and their sense of unity are bolstered by this song, but Utopia pales in comparison to the other songs in the film in terms of substance. And next we have Nothing But Love, a familiar treat for the eyes and the ears. Even though it sounds like it was mashed up with a few other songs from different movies, Nothing But Love is still our favorite track on the album. Though this is also our primary complaint about Zombies 3, most of the songs were catchy and had decent hooks, but they didn't really stand out from the rest of the album or from the other pop songs in general. With all the tensions in the film having been dealt with, Nothing But Love serves as an epic conclusion with a catchy musical number, typical of Disney Channel productions. As the last film in the series, Nothing But Love also functions as a fitting farewell to viewers. Yes, we did shed a tear or two. Next up, Someday sheds the mantle of being a poem. And what's the deal with this rendition of Someday instead of the original version? Say what you want though, we think this adaptation serves the film better. It's brighter and more accurately depicts the zest of a brand new couple who have yet to become jaded by the realities of life. It's a great example of a song that conveys the sentimental longing of remembering a first love. Touchy, very touchy. But that's kind of what pumps juice into this entire movie lineup. Just the right amount of sugar, spice, and everything everything nice, all with the added bonus of Professor Utonium singing Zombies songs. It seems the Zombies series has adapted Someday as its unofficial theme song. It's been played multiple times in the sequel, with the speed changing each time, and it's easily the best and most memorable music from the original film. Zombie 3's interpretation of it is more like a sad ballad, while the original is a perky duet sung by Addison and Zed. However, Someday still features the same memorable melody that propelled it to ever-glorious fame. Following up with Exceptional Zed, Zed showing just how exceptional he can get. The song sheds a bit of backstory before going all in with Zed getting ready for a home visit interview with a recruiter from Mountain College. He has high hopes to allow for other monsters to pursue higher education if he himself gets admitted. To get the ball rolling, he needs to show that he's a top tier student.
student. It's a daunting task, but if any monster can do it, it's Zed. It's fun to sing and boogie down to exceptional Zed. Zed, played by Milo Mannheim, is extremely anxious about the interview, despite the fact that everyone around him is trying to boost his confidence. The chorus line, I simply gotta forget my doubts and get up out of my brain, is one of the best parts of the song. Those who aren't already convinced of their superiority will feel a surge of self-assurance when humming along to this catchy tune. And then, the controversial, I'm finally me. Wait, Addison is an alien too? This song is a revelation of sorts. Using the magical stardust the aliens brought with them, Addison discovers that she has alien DNA and powers. Addison, having learned the truth, at last expresses her joy in this beautifully orchestrated song. Seen in the first Zombies film where Addison takes off her wig and reveals her true identity to Seabrook is echoed in I'm Finally Me. However, there's a lot more to like about this new song. The song starts slowly but picks up steam after the first chorus, and it culminates in a powerful bridge full of chants that would be great for shouting and dancing to with your mates. A rougher addition, Come On Out Now, wild, bold, and chock full of werewolves. In our opinion, Come On Out is just about on par with We Own the Night, the werewolf theme from Zombies 2. Their howls that evolve into fantastical ooze are amazing, and Chandler Kinney, who plays Willa has a beautiful voice, featuring a fantastic rhythm and catchy clapping effect brought to you by a talented selection of werewolves. This song is a highlight of the big Disney Plus fantasy picture. The chorus, which comprises difficult to hear raps, which were probably an overdue of the acting, is the only reason for its lower ranking. Make no mistake about it though, this song has a very different punch to it. And for those of you looking to get a feel of just how bold the cast and music can be, need to check this out. You might even get a certain hint towards Michael Jackson's I'm Bad, wink wink. Moving on to Ain't No Doubt About It is your daily dose of young romance. The song starts off with both Addison and Zed strutting off to school together while also entwined in a mushy conversation about the future. While everything seems to be warm and cuddly on the surface, the couple does have a sense of foreboding that something might push them apart. No matter how long ago you experienced your first love, Ain't No Doubt About It will always feel like a familiar tune. It seems that the main aim of Ain't No Doubt About It in this feel-good movie that can cheer anyone up in an instant is to divert attention away from the fight at hand with its swinging tune and snapping effect. The chorus is a glorious collection of brass and choral harmony, allowing listeners to quickly get into the groove of the song and inspiring them to join in. And lastly, Alien Invasion, an ode to alien and human collaboration. Zombie 3's second song, Alien Invasion, is about the movie's build-up to the climax the explosions in the backdrop and the aliens dance both contribute to the epic energy of this scene. The song's electronica and infectious chorus make it perfect for breaking a sweat to. There are some beautiful harmonies and we love the way that they blend alien and human sounds towards the conclusion. That's a wrap for this video. What would be your ranking for the Zombies 3 songs? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.